I'm Kai Zheng, a second-year Master of Social Work student, and my presentation today is titled "Vicarious Trauma: Experienced by Social Workers and Its Implications." This presentation comprises of five parts. First, I will explain what vicarious trauma is. Then, I will show why vicarious trauma is relevant for social workers. In the third part, I will unpack the implications of vicarious trauma for social work practice. Last but not least, I will explain the theoretical perspectives this research adopts and the method it utilizes. The importance of trauma as a health issue is coined by the sheer scale of people who suffered from it at a certain point of their life course. Seventy-five percent of Australian adults are estimated to have experienced at least one traumatic event at a certain point of their life. More than sixty percent of young people worldwide will have had traumatic experience by the age of seventeen. This research focuses on a specific type of trauma called vicarious trauma. Vicarious traumatization is a negative transformation in the self of a trauma worker or helper that results from empathic engagement with traumatized clients and the reports of traumatic experiences. This concept was proposed in 1990 by two psychotherapists to make sense of their experience working with victims. It is easy to understand that social workers working with vulnerable communities and individuals of a society are likely to be exposed to traumatic experience in their daily practice. Then the question comes to. Will this exposure to traumatic experience necessarily impinge on social workers? To answer this question, we need to look into the way that social workers work. Empathy and compassion are considered essential in the social work professional encounter. Empathy requires the ability to emulate the emotional state of another and subjectively simulate their experience. Perspective in order to establish a connection with them. Compassion is both feelings for the person who is suffering and a desire to act to relieve the suffering. As long as the social worker uses empathy and compassion in their practice, the social worker is highly likely to emulate and feel the client's traumatic experience. And therefore, vicarious traumatization is highly likely to occur, and the social worker is highly likely to experience vicarious trauma. I really like the metaphor of walking in the rain. If a person walks in the rain, even under an umbrella, they are likely to get wet. The rain can be regarded as traumatic experience. The umbrella is professional skills. And the person is social worker who is almost inevitably to get wet or get traumatized. According to its definition, vicarious trauma is the outcome of a negative transformation. Existing literature has listed a range of consequences. It might result in pessimistic and cynical attitudes, disrupted beliefs about self, others, and the world. According to the ASW Codes of Ethics. Social workers should commit themselves to social justice and human rights, and respect for people. The pessimistic and cynical attitudes prevent social workers from attending to clients' well-being, self-fulfillment, and self-determination. It also interferes with social workers' ability to to sustain hope and dedication to clients, communities, and oppressed populations. Social workers suffering back, suffering from vicarious trauma may not be able to provide professional services to clients, and even have adverse impact on clients with traumatic experience. Given the relevance and implications of vicarious trauma, social workers need to take an evidence-informed approach to it. It is thus necessary to research into the best practice existed in respect. Bond to the vicarious trauma experienced by human services professionals, including social workers. The practice questions to be answered are: 
First, how can social workers identify whether they are or about to experience vicarious trauma? Second, how to establish a systematic approach in response to vicarious trauma experienced by social worker? This research is informed by trauma theories and system theories. It first takes up a trauma-informed approach. The trauma-informed approach explores the symptoms of trauma without medicalizing them. Rather, it takes social and relational dimensions into consideration. Recently, researchers started to pay attention not only to vicarious trauma but also to second traumatic stress, compassion fatigue, burnout. Due to their close relevance in social work practice, there is nevertheless still some blurring between these concepts when it comes to their relations, similarity, and difference. From a trauma-informed perspective, this research looks into the lived experience of pra- practitioners suffering from vicarious trauma in order to show its distinctiveness in relation to other concepts. This way. Social workers can have an inf- evidence-informed method of articulating and validating their experience of vicarious trauma. This research is also embedded in the system theories. It pays special attention to structures or the web relationships around an individual and the interaction between the individual and the surrounding structures and relationships. Rather than drawing linear causal relationships between vicarious trauma and individual trigger- triggering factors, this research identifies and compares factors, relationships, structures suggested in the existing literature, and see how they form a system that leads to the vicarious trauma, and how the system could be utilized, challenged, reimagined, or restructured to promote vicarious resilience. It is particularly interested in the organizational measures and the interactions between social workers and their agencies in dealing with the vicarious trauma they experienced. Informed by trauma theory and the critical strand of system theories, this research adopts an interpretivist paradigm that emphasizes on individuals' agency in the relationship building. Interaction and meaning making. To be more specific, this research is qualitative, is qualitative in nature, and takes the method of critical literature review. Critical literature review refers to a method that critically evaluates and analyzes a set of existing literature for the purpose of creating new knowledge and providing clearer answers to the research questions. First, this research conducts a search of peer-reviewed journal articles that publish that published between 2013 and 2022 in the full text database. The key was used for the article search of vicarious trauma, second traumatic stress, compassion fatigue, burnout, and human services, social work. Then, it will do a preliminary analysis. In order to develop a coding strategy, once all the collected journal articles are coded, it will conduct a thematic analysis to answer two practice questions. Ultimately, a, re- a report will be written to present research findings. The idea to take home from this presentation is that, given the vicarious trauma is highly relevant. To social workers, and if unattended, can have great consequences in social work professional practice. A research using the method of critical literature review is needed to help social workers formulate an evidence-informed approach to systematically address the vicarious trauma they experience. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thank you.